I think you all know why I gathered you here today. Not me, Mr. President. I don't know why. All you said was go to the conference room. I'm sorry, Madam Vice President and Mr. Treasurer and Madam Secretary. I forgot it was top secret. It will all be explained if you all follow me. Thank you all for joining me in the secret basement. I am so glad you are here. You're welcome. You called a meeting. Anyway. You guys do not know this but recently we have been receiving several threats via voice recordings sent to my iPhone. Here I will play one for you right now. Oops. That was the wrong audio file. That was from my... My personal folder. Here is the right file. This government will fall under my power. You stand no chance against me. You will lose all your money tomorrow. Was that from yesterday? Yes. This message was sent to my iPhone yesterday. Okay. Do we still have all our money? Yes. Okay, that's good. Wait just a minute. Where have we heard that voice before? Mr. President, would you replay that threatening voice message sent to your iPhone? Yes. This government will fall under my power. You stand no chance against me. You will lose all your money tomorrow. Okay. Yes, it was me. How could you do this? Because it is my dream to dance. I needed money to fund my dance studio. But now that you have discovered my identity I have to destroy you. I will destroy this whole government. And it is so easy because I have a lot of money and you have a little. I have an idea. I think what we need to do is sing a song. I saw you over there. I didn't mean to stare, but my mind was everywhere. I want to know you. I'm gonna guess that you're the kind to say what's on your mind. But you listen when I have something to show you. There's a mark above your eye. You got it in July, fighting for your sister's reputation. You remember people's names, and Valentine's. So I bring you flowers just for no occasion. Oh!